protecting yourself on the internet. Um, this series will focus on cyber stalking. Now, cyber stalking is the use of the internet or other electronic means to stalk or harass an individual, a group of individuals, or an organization. It can lead to identity theft, solicitation of minors for sex, or other malicious harassments. Now, just like home security, there are many layers to keeping yourself safe online. You wouldn't just you know, lock the door of your house and consider yourself safe. You'd probably lock the deadbolt, uh, lock the windows, garage door, and uh, possibly get a dog or a gun. Uh, this is also true of internet security. You shouldn't just have antivirus running. You should have a firewall, anti-spyware, strong passwords, and know what a phishing attack looks like. You also need to know what's out there available to the, uh, these criminals that are looking to uh, to get your information. Whether you know, like I said, you know, for identity theft, or uh, you know, possible you know physical altercations, or you know, looking for a place to uh, to come rob. Knowing your online identity is um, is a key layer in security. Now, how much information you are leaking out about yourself and, and your family? You know, how much information family and friends leaking out about you? And we're going to show you ways that you can you know. You theoretically stalk yourself in order to find out what's out there. We'll then show you the um, ways to hide that information. Now this screen ca uh, screencast will look at checkusernames.com um, in this first uh, screencast here. Now checkusernames.com was developed to check usernames across a multitude of social networks. These uh, include sites like Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Picasa, and whatnot. Uh, essentially, if you're using the same username across these sites, and let's be honest, most of us are, then we could combine the information we find to get a really good sense of ourselves. Uh, this information could be a full name, a picture, a voice, or video, or worse, there could be an address to your house. Do you, you really need a 45-year-old pervert knowing where, how to get to your 9-year-old uh, your child playing out back? Yeah, we don't either. So let's get into this. Let's take your username and uh, click on the uh, check username button at uh, checkusernames.com. I'm going to uh, randomly enter uh, someone's username. Uh, I'll be using Benji for this demonstration. Um, seems to be a widely used uh, nickname. Doesn't I don't think any of these are going to belong to any uh, one person. So we can see it you know, trying to run here. And as it's recording, it's uh, a little bit of a delay. You probably see a, a little bit better update on your screen and what this is going it's going through and checking all these uh, different websites to see if that uh, username uh, Benji is available um, as soon as this stops running here we'll, we'll, we'll take a look and what's really neat about this is um, if any of these are unavailable you'll see a line through the word available obviously and you can uh, then click on any of these to you know, take you to that that, that profile Let's go down. Um, let's take a look at a Twitter account. It says this is not, not available on Twitter. Somebody already has this. So let's, let's take a look and, and see what we get here. So this is going to take us to twitter.com slash binsgy. Okay. So what do we have here? See the user's full name. See he's located in, I guess it's Hasdonk, Belgium. Find out about him. He's obviously a programmer. Um, we have his website. So, so we have the guy's personal website. So, what, what what can we do with this? Well, maybe you know we can get some more information about him, uh, or a way of contacting him. Maybe he has his resume out there, has his uh, physical address. So, let, let's take a look and see what we get here. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this website, and you can see uh, some uh, design features. Uh, I guess these are websites he's designed before. Um, his name, you know, Gregory Van Loy. Here you can go. Oh, uh, looks like this is a physical address, uh, a couple phone numbers, website, uh, way to get in touch with them, email address. So we could even do maybe a search on that, or maybe do a search on um, the uh, you know, the phone number and see what we come up with. Well, let's take a look here. Let's take a look at this. We'll map it with Google Maps here. As you can see, it looks like it's going to load up um, you know, his uh, his location here. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the street name, but you see how easy it was. It took us maybe five minutes uh, to track this gentleman down. So, very important to know what your 
information you're putting out there. Set up maybe a physical address, maybe um, you know a PO box. Maybe get a Google Voice number. You can screen calls that way. Maybe you don't need to put your cell phone number out there, your home phone number if you have a website. Um, maybe if you have a Facebook site, um, you have that information. Take a look, see what else is, is out there. Um, maybe there's an old account out there lingering that you had maybe when you were in college, high school, didn't realize it's still out there, a blogger website, maybe uh, has some you know information. It might be outdated, it might be fine, but um, it's best to go ahead and get that, uh, that checked out. Cleared up, and you know, try to try to hide as best as possible. There's no need to have all this information out there for um, for anybody to find. Uh, we just demonstrated how easy it is to find it if it's available to us. Now, please leave a comment um, below. Um, any questions? You know, try to answer them as best as possible. Um, you know, any critiques also welcome. Um, and look forward to touching base with you next time. Thank you.